edit the staging score, you'll need to switch your view to the score view. On this page, you'll see a scene list on the left, and if you open a scene, you'll see a list of labels for any created score that already exists for further editing. The list of staffs and a score show up on the left, and each label represents the staff from the score on the right. Using the tools found across the top of the screen, you can navigate through the staging score. The lock icon allows you to jump from scene to scene by using the buttons up above while the view tool will allow you to go back to charts or view both charts and score side by side in order to link them together. In this view, thumbnails of the charts are found on the left side and the staging score is found on the right side. By simply dragging the chart on the left to the staff on the right, you can link the charts with the score. Use the plus symbol to add another staff to the score. You can add a dialogue staff for scenes with no music. Here, the top line identifies the character speaking, while the second line holds the spoken dialogue. Each character has two lines to document the detail of the action, as it corresponds to the timeline and spoken dialogue. You can also add an eight-count staff for scenes that contain music. Here, the characters are on the left again, and now the counts run across the top. One e and a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The speaker again is on the top line, and now the lyrics correspond with each count. Below, the choreography is also listed right in line with the counts as well. There's a line of detail about the name of the step, another line for the active foot executing the step, and another line to document other details about the movement. You can also add a 10 count or a triplet step too, which allow you to document the show with different music styles. The filter tool allows you to filter out any information you don't want to see. For example, you could choose to look at the details for just one character at a time, and the score will show you only that information. Much like a conductor can see what the oboe is playing on a particular count by looking at his conductor score, the staging score allows you to document the details of what each performer or set piece is doing at the same time. When you tap in any section of the score, it will become highlighted in red. If you type E for edit or hit the return key, you can add or edit information into the score. When you're done typing, just hit return. And by using the arrow keys, you can navigate around the score. And when you find the next place you want to edit, just hit return to enter more information. Here you can enter as much detail as you want. When you're finished, hit done, and this will show you additional editing features. The edit function allows you to go back in and edit or format your text. You can select a section, make it bold, you could change the color, change the font size, you can add an underline or set italics for your text. The resize function allows you to move the details so they line up with the correct dialog above. The cut function allows you to cut this section and paste it into another part of the score. And you can also resize it from the other side. Once you're happy with the way it looks, just tap done to move on to another part of the score. You can also add a second voice to the score by pressing the add button. If a second speaker speaks or sings at the same time overlapping, you can document it in this way. By tapping the X, you can edit the voices, changing the order with the blue arrows, or to delete it by tapping the red X. You can minimize the details of certain characters for specific lines if you want to save space by tapping the arrows to the left side. You can add another character to the score by tapping the plus symbol and choosing from the list of characters in the show. You can change the order of the characters with the blue arrows, and you can delete the character from that line by tapping the red X. Mm -hmm.